So, St. Ignatius of Loyola. That's him, there. You might know he's from Spain. You might even know he's from the Basque region. It's pretty mountainous. You probably don't know what his childhood home looks like, though, right? And you probably don't care. Why should you? Think about your own home. Quiet corners where you curl up with a book. A kitchen where you feed your family, host your guests. Not unlike Ignatius' home. The place where he was born. Played with his brothers. Grew up. The place, too, where he recovered from his battle wound. Where he plotted next steps for his life. Where he encountered God. Not so different from our own lives. Our own homes. Where we rest and recover. Heal and think and pray. These quiet moments are easy to miss. We know how Ignatius' story ends. We know what became of the man who grew up in this house. Something so important to our church, to our world, they built a basilica around it. These quiet moments might feel insignificant in the wake of the awesome legacy Ignatius left behind. But they were essential. That's where he encountered God. And many of them took place in his home. Pilgrims visit to get a glimpse of the place that formed the man, that nurtured the inner movements of his soul from where his work began. Place is important. That place might be home, it might be somewhere else. What's an important place for you? And how is God speaking to you there?